Welcome to Watch Symposium, I'm Austin. All right, so today is the 14th of October. First watch check, I'm wearing a Vostok on a NATO, this red and black NATO, and I don't know if you can see this Vostok, but it's uh, amphibious, it's got a submarine emerging from the water and a two-headed eagle. So, the end of the month, my mother's having a birthday, so, I was thinking about what I could get her, and being a, a watch enthusiast, I thought, how about a watch? Now, I had gotten her a watch uh, my first year in university. Uh, I'm, they had this like casino gambling type uh, event where you got play money and you, you know, bought things afterwards, and um, one of the prizes was a Mickey Mouse and Pluto Disney watch. I had my eye on it. I, I gambled, I won, and I, I beelined it to get that watch. I, I wanted that watch, and I wanted it, I don't know why I wanted it. I guess it was because it was one of the coolest things, and I gave it to my mom, and she worked for decades after that. Um, at least 15, I wanna say 20 years, and it ended up just, uh, she added a repair a few times and a, a few batteries put into it, but um, it just uh, went the way of, you know, a quartz watch and really couldn't be repaired. So, I think a watch could be a cool, uh, a cool gift for her. And, you know, I mean, I, I love buying watches. So, it's, part of this is like an excuse to handle a watch and, and see it and uh, touch it. And um, hopefully she'll like it. You know, I mean, it's, I can't imagine not wanting to wear a watch. Uh, wearing a watch is so convenient. I mean, it's amazing. It's a great experience and you always have the time right there. Uh, it's something, I, I mean, I just can't believe I went for years without having a watch. I went for years and it was I using the cell phone, I guess. You know, I don't know what I was doing, but uh, whatever I was doing, it was uh, it was a small pleasure that was something I didn't enjoy, and so I, I'm glad I remedied that. So, what to get the non-watch enthusiast? Well, let's take a look. Now, as you can see behind me, changing subject slightly before I uh, get onto the video of the watch. Um, very uh, overcast, rainy today. It's going to be rainy for the next week here, so yeah, that's uh, um, doesn't make uh, for pleasurable videos, uh, you know, aside from out here on the veranda. All right, well, let's move on and uh, ask yourself, what do you think I got my mother for her birthday? Okay, there's a shot of that Vostok. And there's the present. So, as you can see, I went Victronox. Now, why did I go with this particular watch? Well, one reason, pretty much the main reason, was I was looking for a complication that's kind of hard to find when it comes to ladies' watches, and Victronox was one of the few companies that offered it. Uh, another reason is I really like the brand Victronox. I carry a Swiss Army knife, uh, and uh, I have for over a decade, and I love them. You gotta be really careful, by the way, in Japan with knives. They're really strict about blade length. Um, what I carry is a small SD, a little white SD on my keychain. I'll do a EDC sometime in the future and show it to you guys. But um, yeah, you have to be careful. I've been asked about why I have it. So um, that, that'll be an anecdotal I'll save for, for the EDC. But um, on to this. So, all right, well, what's the complication that I was looking for? Take a look. Well, if you were guessing that I was going for a GMT function, you would be correct. Now, as you can see, uh, you've got the time, date at the six o'clock, and right in the middle, a second time zone. And seeing as how my mother's grandkids and her only child lives in another time zone, I thought this would be kind of useful. Also, my mother travels a lot, so, you know, she can 
hopefully get some use out of this second time zone function. Let's take a look at it outside the box. Oh, before I do that, let me just show you. Probably already caught that. Now, I got this off of eBay, and I didn't pay that much for it. Um, I paid a little over $200 for it. So, all right, so I've got the white gloves on, and one of the reasons I have the white gloves on is just to keep the fingerprints off of it. Now, as you can see, it's a quartz. And I think when you are buying a watch for a non-watch person, I think quartz might be the way to go. I think as a, as a watch enthusiast, I'm pretty forgiving uh, in terms of you know accuracy because I think it's a trade-off with a mechanical watch. It's, uh, it's worth sort of that engineering marvel um, you know, a watch that's not wholly accurate. Uh, but for someone who's not into that, I think accuracy is a big deal. So this has a, a Swiss quartz movement and sapphire crystal. As you can see, the crystal has a, you know plastic over it right now. And let's just take a look at it. I mean, I'm not going to you know pretend to do a review about it, but um, but yeah, now, like I said, I got this from eBay, and you can see that there are little sort of imperfections, and I think that might be why it wound up on eBay. You know, I I think you guys probably already realize this, but when you get things from eBay, even if they're new, I think they might be a little bit hmm, off. The, you know, they might be models that you couldn't really sell in a store. I mean, if I if I were looking at this in a store... And I was looking to pay 500 for it. I would have some issues with some of these little scratches. And I noticed that actually there's there's uh, on the bezel there's quite a ding right there. So that's kind of unacceptable. In fact, I'll probably leave a negative review over that. But um, you know what are you gonna do? I I bought this from the states, and so you know. Um, I hope my mother will use it, and so I don't, uh, you know, I don't, uh, it's really not worth, uh, trying to get a new one over, and, and, uh, you know, to be honest, I don't think she'll even notice, but, uh, but, you know, that is sort of, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's eBay, right? It's eBay, and, and, um, and, and that's why this watch is not in a store, okay? Um... But anyway, let's, go, let's let's focus on the positives. All right, so that's kind of kind of, uh, kind of a nice dial to it um, with uh, interesting pattern. And let's uh, let me show you how it works. All right, so you click it out once, and if you turn it, um, I guess that would be counterclockwise you can adjust the 24-hour hand. Um, and if you turn it the other way, the date at the 6 o'clock turns. Okay, perfect. It's 5 o'clock here, so we'll do... And, and as you can see, it's, so it's... it's uh, two, right here would be three, four, and then right here's five. So we'll get it nice and perfect. Yeah, if you if you don't quite get it, you have to go around again. Okay. All right, so. Anyway, um, hopefully that'll that'll be kind of useful for her. So yeah, um, be careful with eBay. You know, this is a, a watch that I hope she'll use. And, uh, um, but if, you know, and, and, and she's, um, she really doesn't get hung up on little things like that. But, you know, if you were buying this for like your wife or something on a, for an anniversary, I mean, that, that, that's kind of unacceptable. Um, 
But again, um, you know, if you're buying it for yourself and you could either pay this or, you know, a little over 200 uh, because of this, I, I would I would go for the discount. But um, I, I wasn't made aware of the, the this. And I, I think, you know, when you when you go through eBay, it's uh, you just have to be so careful and you know it's uh god don't even get me started on leather straps from china god i mean if you actually get a leather if you order a leather strap from china and you get a leather strap oh my god that would be amazing they're plastic they're fake leather all right i'm, I'm going off on a tangent here anyway hopefully she'll like it and uh yeah take care and see you next time